So, you're part of the Amazon Associates program and you feel like a small fish in a big pond. Not to worry, you're not alone, as most people when they first start, they need some serious direction and planning. After all, no one just signs up and suddenly starts making a gazillion dollars, although we would like to think that way. Sure, it's easy to pick products, but let me share with you how to do it the right way as an Amazon affiliate with these nine examples. If it's your first time here, welcome to the channel Side Hustle pursuit where we show you the ins and outs of how to create a side hustle even if it's on a shoestring budget so be sure to subscribe as well as hit that notification button so you'll get that nudge every time we upload a new video now onto the list starting with number one think evergreen if you're like me when i first heard the word evergreen i thought it was that little tree car air freshener well it's not but what it is is three categories that will never go away like ever go away. So we'll be talking about these things for years and years to come. What are they you ask? They are health, wealth, and fitness. Just open up a magazine or turn on any TV and the chances are these topics of weight loss, earning more money, or bettering yourself have come up. Every day these evergreen topics pop up right in front of us. Stay up late enough and you'll see plenty of these in the form of infomercials. Put this cream on your face and get rid of the bags. Use this spray on your hair and experience more fullness than ever. Got acne? Clear it up with this product for the perfect skin. You get the gist of it. Think evergreen. On to number two, selling without selling. I know what you're thinking, that doesn't even make sense. But think about it. You know that car salesman trying hard to sell you a car or that furniture salesman working you to buy that recliner or sofa? Yeah, no one likes a salesman. How do I know? I used to be that guy. I was the guy who sold vacuums years ago. And if it's one thing I learned is it's people don't like a salesman. They like a friend who's got their best needs at hand. They like a friend who tells them what they would do in that situation. They don't want anyone putting the item in front of them and telling them they should buy it. That scares people right away and fast for sure. In fact, I'm sure there were a few family members and friends not happy with me when I showed them my first demo of a vacuum I tried to sell them. But as soon as you tell them the health of their kids were at hand and they breathe better because of the powerful suction of the vacuum, or they'd save a ton of money and never have to buy another vacuum with this? Well, it was about hitting that sweet spot. And that's how you sell without selling. Coming in at number three, going viral. Thanks to political affiliations, memes, or a hot YouTube video, there's a great chance you can ride the coattails of a hot viral subject. A few years ago, an Irish lady read a story to her grandson called The Wonky Donkey. As she was reading it, she couldn't help but laugh with every page that described this wonky donkey. It was infectious and quickly became viral. I ended up writing a blog based on that video, but the point is, when something is hot, get creative. Maybe even reach out to that person involved. You have nothing to lose, but you jump on the viral video train when it happens, and if there's a relatable product, find out if Amazon has it. This could be your in to promote that product based on that viral video. How many viral cat videos have you seen where they're on a Roomba? Share a video like such on your website and have a link to a Roomba that Amazon is selling. Simple as that. Number four, create a Facebook business page. If you're selling a product, people want to know you're legit. Having a Facebook business page will help you do just that. Your personal page should be personal. You can advertise on your personal for those interested in knowing more about your product, but chances are they want to know where you took your nephews last week, or they want to see those cool pics that you got of the eclipse in Ohio. Name your Facebook business page accordingly. So if it's the best coffee makers, and that is your niche, give it a name relatable, like the best coffee makers. Number five, join the right Facebook groups. Your niche should be related to the Facebook groups you join. A lot of the heavy lifting may already have been done in the group's creation by others. Your job is to sell it without selling it. If I join a group about migraines, the easiest way to reach those is not by posting my affiliate link to products, 
but posting value. These would be videos related that would help, articles related that would help. Facebook is all about transparency and making sure visitors have a great experience. By posting great value, it may get shared and ultimately they could end up on your website. Even if you don't have the cashola for a website, you could easily go the route and set up a one-page site using Google Sites. You just need a Gmail account to do that, and there's nothing worse than seeing links thrown in posts with no real value. No one will click on it, so be sure not to go this way as an affiliate. Share value and funnel them to your offer, it's really the best way. Number six, YouTube video. If you're not on YouTube, you need to be. It only takes one video to really generate a steady income on the side for you. Think about it. A five minute video could do wonders as an affiliate and never go away. A few years ago, it was a super cold winter. I bought a space heater for my bathroom. This bathroom could never get warm, so the space heater was the best solution. Fortunately, this space heater was not only the best space heater I've ever bought, but it was on Amazon. It was time to make a YouTube video. I've sold multiple space heaters since, thanks to that particular video. I didn't have a bunch of special video equipment and great editing software at the time, just an idea to meet a problem with a solution. Look around your house. What is it that you find useful that could solve a problem? Is it also on Amazon? Now go make a short YouTube video about it and just keep it simple. Number seven, go with what you know. It's pointless to spend a lot of time and energy on something if you don't know it well. So it wouldn't be a good idea to sell golf clubs if you know nothing about golf. Just because the commission might be higher in a product doesn't mean it's for you. Yes, you'll hear people say, go with the high ticket item and you'll always do well. That's not necessarily true. Become the expert in your area, be passionate about it, and even if it is a low ticket item, if you're selling enough of it, you could be successful. People see through if you are just faking it or don't know your niche. It's an old school thing, but try this out. Write down five things you know really well. Now, narrow it down to two and ask yourself, are those two things you know well and worth investing your time in and finding products for? Is there a problem to be solved? Number eight, your website is your business card. People will tell you that you don't need a website. They're wrong because your website is now the new business card. This creates authority and the prospect is more likely to buy. You could make your own business cards as well as buy them online. Make sure your site is always in working order as you don't want to lose any sales based on website maintenance or updating. And of course, make sure it is mobile friendly. Don't just take them directly to Amazon as an affiliate. Take the time to warm them up on your site with blogs or articles related to that product. Create that credibility and authority and start passing out your cards. Last on the list at number nine, mindset. Picture a bird who believes he can't fly. Now picture a fish who believes he can't swim. It sounds ridiculous, but the moral of the story is the potential is already there. We just have to harness it. Many times we think we can't. We think it's just too hard. We think it'll never happen. The truth is we can allow that to be a self-fulfilling prophecy, or we can do the latter and believe we can. Put your best foot forward and take on a different mindset. Be positive. No time to be negative as it's just a setback. There are plenty of books you can read on mindset like Carol Dweck. Mindset, the new psychology of success, or Atomic Habits, an easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones by James Clear. So check them out if you need to get on track. Well, our video has now come to a close. Which one of these resonates with you and pushes you to take action? Leave it in the comments below. Sign up as an affiliate today and always remember, take life by the horns, it's your rodeo. See you in the next video.